Hello and welcome to this next episode of the vSphere Breakroom Chat. I am Harshad Kolte. I am Product Marketing Manager for vSphere and vSphere Foundation. Uh, in these Breakroom Chat series, we bring Broadcom and Broadcom experts and partners uh, to these sessions to talk about the different products and portfolios and how they help uh, customers address challenges. Today, I'm very excited to talk to Bob, Bob Lankers, who is be an expert on vSphere, vSphere Foundation, a lot of things on security, and you may have heard him on other, other chats. Uh, welcome, Bob, Bob, to this uh, chat, and please introduce yourself. Uh, hey, thanks for having me on. I'm Bob Plankers. I talk a lot about security and compliance. I've been with uh, VMware and VMware-related organizations, obviously Broadcom now, but uh, uh, for what, five and a half, five and three quarters years, something like that. And uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, before that, I was out in the public sector for 23 years uh, as an end user and somebody who built and dealt with uh, uh, a lot of infrastructure that had to keep it secure and reliable and all that sort of stuff. So it's uh, it's a pleasure to be along and to talk about that sort of stuff with the context that I've got. So thanks for having me. Awesome. awesome. And in keeping it the tradition of the break room chats, we talk about our favorite drinks. I'll start with mine. Mine is a mango mojito. Mm. Um, and I'm, I'm from India. Drink. Mangoes are in full bloom, so it's a top of mind for me. And of course, I love the rum in the summer. So that's my favorite drink. Uh, I'm not partaking it right now. <laughs> it's office time. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'm not drinking anything alcoholic either. But the uh, <laughs> um, that is a terrific drink. I like mango. I like the fruitier stuff. Uh, mojitos are terrific. You're right about a good summer drink. Uh, I drink a lot of cold drinks. I'm not a big fan of hot drinks, hot tea, hot coffee, that sort of thing. And eh, throw a bunch of ice cubes in it. And uh, I'm drinking jasmine tea right now, but awesome. it, it, would that be my favorite? I don't know. I don't, don't know that I have a favorite drink per se. I drink drink a lot of the fruitier iced teas and that uh, apricot iced tea and whatnot, but peach, stuff like that. But uh, my son and I were at the grocery store the other day, and and uh, he pointed out Sunny D. If you're familiar with it, it's kind of like Tang, you know, uh, and I hadn't had it in years. You know, it's probably been decades since I, I've last had it, and we got a pack of it or whatever, and that's actually pretty good, you know, like kind of reliving my youth. So that was fun. Uh, so favorite, I don't know, but uh, current fad in my world. So Awesome, awesome. And it's a non-alcoholic one for... <laughs> yeah, awesome. true. Great. Let's jump into the topic. Um, so, Bob, when it comes to security, there is this assumption that it is primarily related to just you know security breaches, ransomware attacks, the things that make make it to the news. But uh, there is a lot more to it. Some can you talk about some of the main you know core tenets of security from your perspective? Yeah, I can, and I, I guess you know anybody who's heard me talk, I really have to apologize to all of the people out there for the last six years. You know, I've been. Uh, any, I pretty much lead with this, you know, because pe to your point, people always think about, think about ransomware. How do I prevent ransomware? Well, ransomware is one of the things that you can get, you know, but there's all, you know, attackers creep around, they steal your secrets, all of that stuff. And, you know, they might even leave some stuff behind too, and you don't want that. So those are things, other outcomes other than just ransomware. But to your point, you know, you we think about uh, the security and we often think of just the idea of confidentiality keeping data to ourselves you know keeping it out of the hands of bad actors and whatnot but uh if you look at the core tenets of information security it's it's known as a cia triad it's not just c for confidentiality but it's also i for integrity and a for availability integrity being you know if i leave data somewhere i want to come back and find it in the state that it's in you know i don't want it corrupted i don't want it changed by an attacker i don't want them to add or remove things or encrypt it that sort of thing and availability what's the point of all these systems you know why did we build them all why are we paying for them all that stuff if they're not available for us to use when we need them you know and uh, uh and so availability is a big part of of security but it's often it, it's not thought of that way you know security again it's just confidentiality right well it's all of it and vSphere actually speaks really well to the integrity and availability thing i guess integrity might be more of a vSAN thing there's a lot of integrity stuff mm -hmm. there too but the uh, um but availability you know has been a core tenant of 
vSphere since well forever basically since right. the beginning of vMotion. Now um, customers are deploying their workloads in in you know public cloud at the edge, uh, but you know on premises and private cloud and on premises still remains quite relevant. But just by the notion that we had on on prem or doesn't mean that you're secure. So there are still some challenges that customers uh, face. Um, could you talk to some of those that 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 are upfront in your mind and in the market? Yeah, I can. The uh, um, so big challenges, you know, uh, big challenges that people face. I mean, the whole all of security, even compliance, evolves over time. It compliance a little bit slower, but it fits and starts, you know. Like, and uh, um, so big challenges. And you're right that the on-premises stuff isn't a guarantee of security, but on-premises can help with access control. And access control, because public clouds, your door is always open. There's always a public interface to manage your stuff. And so a lot of the on-premises stuff, you can put access controls in, in front of that. And people think about access controls, you know, often as firewalls and that. And that's that's important too, firewalling. Um, a lot of organizations are set up to be one big flat network or one big, you know, oh, we're all one big happy family here, right? You know, desktops can get to management interfaces for IT systems and that. And that's a challenge because you want to you want to start separating that. You want to add access controls and things. And then you also, a big part of access control is identity management too. And that's something we've really been working on with vSphere and VCF uh, in general, the idea that, you know, being able to federate with a lot of the newer identity providers. There's identity providers out there that do wonderful jobs of managing people and identities and logins and two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication, all of that stuff, you know, and why don't we federate with them, you know, like, can we connect to them and use them, you know, and they're not a panacea on, on their own either, you know, there's some pros and cons to those, uh, those approaches, but, you know, access control is a big challenge. And then the last thing that I would, I think about when I think about challenges that people have is monitoring. How do you know, how do you know that you're, you continue to be secure? You know, you set it up one way. How do you know that you haven't become insecure either through sysadmin mistakes? I often joke as a sysadmin, you know, one of the biggest lies I ever told myself, and I know other people do too, is that I'll come back and fix something later, you know, and I forget, you know, whoops, you know, and so how can we have a system that reminds us of that finds finds what we've messed up and helps us fix it. And then also monitoring, you know, as far as logs, can we tell if an attacker is creeping around? How can we tell proactively and be able to do something about it? So those are big challenges that customers face. Awesome. Um, and, you know, cutting to the chase, like, uh, how does vSphere Foundation, vSphere and vSphere Foundation address these challenges? How does it make life easier? Yeah, well, you know, um, so I mentioned Identity Federation. We are able to federate with the Octas and Azure ADs, Entra ID now, uh, of the world. Uh, more of those coming along as we go here. There uh, will be some announcements moving forward. And uh, um, so continuing to build out that infrastructure and the ability to do that sort of stuff, ADFS on premises. Uh, I know people love to hate ADFS. I joke about it. You know, ADFS has got a lot of PKI stuff in it, and that looks scary to start with. But at the end of the day, it's not that bad. And it's a good virtualization layer for identity is what it amounts to, you know, and we're a virtualization company, right? So, hey, uh, there's that, you know, I mentioned monitoring. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work with the ARIA tools lately. VVF, the VMware vSphere Foundation comes with ARIA operations, which has got a content pack. I maintain the security configuration guide for hardening vSphere. And mm -hmm. uh, so it's got a content pack that you can just import into it and it'll check most of the stuff that's in the security configuration guide, you know, and that's pretty cool, you know? So if you forget something, you go turn on SSH because you were doing something and then you forget to shut it off again, it'll warn you and that's really nice. Uh, and then it also comes with ARIA operations for logs, formerly vRealize Log Insight. You can set alarms for uh, searching for strings in there, failed logins. Uh, and also, you know, hopefully this, you never need a timeline of an incident or whatever, but you point all your stuff at it and you can get a nice 
a nice timeline of all the logs associated with somebody prowling around, you know, and that's helpful for figuring out after the fact if something happened. But, you know, vSphere has got a lot of stuff. I also mentioned availability earlier. vSphere, I mean, vMotion is the original availability tool, the ability to move workloads around without uh, the workloads really noticing so that you can patch infrastructure, all of that stuff. There's a ton of stuff in there uh, from a, an availability perspective, high availability all kinds of stuff and uh so yeah there's a lot of a lot of tools more than we have time for here absolutely yeah and always we have, um, point out to the audience that you know we have to remember that vSphere foundation is built on top of vSphere as the core platform and it's got all, a lot of the platform level security features built in oh absolutely uh, yeah before we close out like what are two three key takeaways that we can uh, you know give a checklist of sort of, of uh, to our audience two three things Oh, sure. Um, things that, you know, I'll think about things that people should be thinking about doing. Patching, patching's huge. And I, I know the information security folks, patching isn't everything. And that's true, you know, but patching gets rid of vulnerabilities, uh, you know, and so or making sure you're up to date. You also get new features when you come up to new versions and those features help you save time. You know, you can spend more time on things that matter. And uh, um, so that's really important. Uh, we've got a great hardening guidance. If I do say so myself, you know, we've got great hardening guidance out there. It tries to really explain what you're doing. It tries to be very accessible. Again, it looks weird. It, it's an Excel spreadsheet. You know, Excel is the greatest database on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, uh, but download it and take a look at that stuff. And that's really important. And then think about, you know, like I said, access control, you know, can you start making it, making it so desktops and, uh, and your IT management interfaces can't talk to each other, you know, except for particular ones, you know, can you start inserting access controls in places and then monitoring for things that are trying to get through, you know, and that that's good work to that's, a big chunk of stuff, and it's something that you can work on a little bit every time you work on systems. So great, great. So, so glad to have you, and uh, there are the great tidbits for for uh, our customers to remember. You know, two three things to remember by. Uh, thanks again, Bob, for coming on this uh, break room chat. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's really it's fun to talk about this stuff. Awesome. Uh, it was great talking with you as well. And for our audience, uh, we're going to close out this episode now. Um, remember to enjoy that those those drinks and uh, come and visit us next time on the next break room chat. Thank you. Mm -hmm.